Welcome back. This is Two Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Aka Anani is a Nigerian born actor, TV host, content creator, and YouTuber. Since 2014, Aka has is a talent that has been cast in several series, TV films, web series, feature films, with aspirations on becoming a global brand. If I do say so myself, I think he's already kind of become one. Mm -hmm. Aka is regarded as one of the most talented and natural media personalities in Nigeria, who has had the opportunity to, to interview so many African music and film celebrities, while also being a guest on, TV, on top TV and radio shows, including Tea Time, for example. With his vlog, Aka Bands, he has been recognized as one of the fastest growing Nigerian YouTube channels and has an astounding engagement rate, which is also why we're bringing him today to have a conversation with us in regards to YouTube. I think I remember ages ago when we did mention how YouTube is basically pouring money into the African scene mm -hmm. and um, you know having a lot of plans for the creatives here, which is really cool because we are creatives on this table, mm -hmm. so this was personal for us. But hello, Aka. Hello. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Hello, guys. How are Welcome. you? Welcome. I'm good. I'm good. Happy New Year, <laughs> sir. <fine. laughs> um, yeah, so happy New Year. Yeah, so, to you. yeah. I mean, he was, he, so he was actually mentioning earlier before we joined, brought him into uh, the live show that he's actually in a set. So Aka is uh, blessing us with his presence as he is currently hustling, doing his thing. So thank you so much for that. We appreciate it. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Thank All right. Much. Okay. So some people Thank might have much. not might have no clue what we're talking about in regards to this YouTube black voices, all of that stuff. So they only know YouTube and that it burns their data and then there are some there are some subscribers <laughs> on there. But please tell us what this initiative is really about. So um, thank you so much again, guys, for having me on mm. uh, your station on your uh, you know platform plus TV Africa. Um, so yeah, um, I started my YouTube channel a couple of years ago, and um, what we do on my channel is tell events uh, and make a commentary with the right perspective, basically, and talk about what's fun and what's popping on, you know, um, in life, you know. But uh, last year was a very traumatic year for everybody. It was a crazy year. Um, and one of the movements, several movements sprang up in several places in uh, the world. And one of the movements was Black Lives Matter. And I guess since Black Lives Matter, a lot of companies, a lot of institutions, a lot of platforms decided that they were going to do what they could uh, to support Black people. Put your money where your mouth is, basically. basically. Mm. And so YouTube was one of them. And YouTube said, you know what, we're going to use what we have, um, money, um, human resource, mm. um, whatever it is, to support black people, black creators, and give them uh, equal opportunity um, everywhere. So uh, YouTube decided to set up the YouTube Black Voices mm. Fund and also select 132 YouTube creators all over, all over the globe. So only 132 black creators were selected for the first 2020 one, um, you know, YouTube Black Voices set or category. Uh, so um, that's what it is about now. So what they're doing is to give support, human and monetary resources to uh, 132 Black but YouTube I, I, creators. Because that across, is a uh, huge uh, deal. That, I mean, it's a huge deal because YouTube is very competitive. It's a Thank saturated you. place. And that the fact that you got it chosen. Is. So, I mean, I mean, I like your humble brag and all of that. But, like, please tell me in, in details, being genuine now, how that's like for you to be part of the people that were selected. I mean, it's not, it's not beans. Come on. No, I, I'm telling you, man, it was it was not it was not easy for me to actually comprehend when I got the first email that um, I was being considered to be selected as a YouTube Black Voice yeah. recipient. I didn't think I got. I was I was like, nah, I'm being punked. And then they sent another email and asked for a call. So I did uh, accept the email, accept the call, and I waited for two days or so, and then got the, the call. I was on a call with the YouTube execs in Paris and London. And I was just listening to them. I was just like, eh, what are these people saying? <laughs> you watch my YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying. You know okay. what I'm doing. Eh. Really? Are you serious? So I, I literally, and when they told me, when they told me I was a recipient, I was, I, I, they had to tell me again because I was numb. Like, I was just looking right. at them like, 
or varieties? I don't think I get right. Like, <laughs> all right, okay. I know, I know. It was just surreal for me. I know, aside the selection, it also comes with some funding and um, you know grants and all of that. What do you intend to do differently now that you have this type of audience and you know this type of opportunity to actually do something different? I do think that um, a recognition, being a recipient of the YouTube uh, Black Voices Fund, um, and also being inaugurated as the first, um, as as being part of the first set, mm -hmm. the class of 2021, is a huge honor, mm -hmm. and I'm humbled by it, but I also have to step up, like, um, to who much is given, much, much is, is expected. expected. Mm -hmm. So this is the time for me to step up my content team. So basically, guys, I got two editors. I got a writer, oh, a radio, wow. a team. So, oh, wow. Um, you okay. Know, YouTube, YouTube just gave us the opportunity to say, you know what, um, you can your your hustle. I like I like the fact sorry yeah. sorry to cut in I like the fact you mentioned writer just before we slip off that right mm -hmm. now a lot of creators feel like ah I got do one by myself I have to be the only brain behind it mm -hmm. but now you're telling us on television that you got a writer now will that person will you be open to other people yeah. giving you ideas of things to do and how to get better I do feel like um, I have to be very restricted with the kind of quote unquote help that I get. Of course, people can point me even on YouTube. Like YouTube is quite a, 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 an inclusive space. Oh, guys, if you want me to talk about something or check on something, tell me in the comments. Yeah, but you know, um, the truth is not everybody has or knows the vision True. and the perspective in which you know mm -hmm. we, you know, curate content and also. Uh, you know, established news, you know, talk about commentary or pop culture or whatever, mm. whatever it is, you know. Mm. Akabans is a very commentary central, but, but also fun, fun, laugh. People always come to my channel because they are just like, ah, if you want somebody to just be that way, but also I want it to be very informative. Um, I don't want people to just come on my channel and leave not knowing better. So, sure. because I do have a mission to help emancipate the minds of Nigerians and also black uh, people all over the globe. So that's right. what uh, my YouTube is there for, YouTube channel um, has a vision for. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited to work with my writers and my research team so that, because I used to do that by myself. In fact, I yeah. started out YouTube not researching or writing and then decided that, you know what, I want to step up my game, but I was doing that all by myself and it was quite draining. Mm. So now, thank God that with a little bit of funding, mm. I can also put money in people's hand, but mm. also really some that stress. Do you want to tell us how much yes. you got? <laughs> exactly how much you were uh, <laughs> tell, tell us, us now. Tell, no, this oh, is tea no. time. We spill tea. How much I did knew, you get? I knew. I knew. I knew you were gonna ask it. I, I knew you were gonna tell us. Tell us. Tell us. <laughs> if you don't, somebody else will tell, I'm not tell us. You, boo. Okay, tell us. Tell us how much. Just you know. Just know that it's thousands of dollars. Just know that it's not one. It's not two. It's thousands. Of dollars. Oh, that wow. S, okay. that S is from Tenu. That one wow. is not nine. Like I, I also write to and I edit. Tell <laughs> you your okay. And I research. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm um, stepping away from um, YouTube for a well, while. I noticed we are part of the cast of Funky Akindele's movie, Omogeto Saga. So I really want to ask, how was that like working yeah. with Funky Akindele? And your character, Mario, it was quite unique and different. Mm. So how was it like, could you relate to it or you like found a problem adjusting to the character? I did. I, first of all, I got to give big props to uh, Funky Akindele. Mm -hmm. I, can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so um, I I have to give big props to her first because you know I've worked with Funky Akindele over the years so on a couple of projects. I've been on Jennifer's Diaries. I've been on her show. Um, uh, you know the other one. Oh, I've forgotten the name. But yeah, um, Industry. I was on Industry, and you know what? Funky Akindele has always felt like if there's any hard character for somebody to crack, if there's in hard case or character for somebody she's always like called Aka yes mm. like I'm one of her go-to mm. actors and I just feel like it's because she nice. believes in me nice. and so when I got this script and she told me Aka you're going to be playing Mario I was like because mm. I knew it was going to be quite a, yeah. it was hard it was going to be hard to crack I mean and I don't just want to play a role 
uh, the, the, in a way that will make people feel like, oh, I created a caricature. Mm. But I wanted people to feel like it was real, like mm. it was me. So it took me time. It took. It did take a lot of time, a little bit of time, basically, mm-hmm. and work, effort, and also um, listening to direction, especially from Fukia King Delay, mm. on how to get that character, get Mario right. into my system. But people don't understand that, man... I was married for a bit. It was crazy. It was deep. <laughs> it was it. deep. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, let's bring it back to YouTube because there's still a lot of discussions around that, that we mm. have not um, touched yet. Of the various components of the grants, that seed funding, invested into the development of your channels, participation in training and network programs, focus on non-production, fan engagement, and even well-being. So people are chopping life, basically. How? Um, what do you feel is the most beneficial to your YouTube journey? Like, what of, of all of them, on top of all the dollars that they're giving you, what is that crucial thing that you feel like, this is what I need? Money. I think um, for... <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, what's actually... Uh, I mean, money is very, very, very of beneficial. Of course. But I think what's yeah. also as equally, as equally beneficial is, like I said, the human resource that has been um granted us that has been given to us we have access um to youtube uh mentors and not just mentors but also um uh you know staff youtube staff who are working with us directly yeah um from headquarters from head office and they're teaching us um you know uh skills they are also you know educating us on analytics the search engine right. optimization really. um helping us look at you know data from behind on what to do and how to get better and what's working what's not working answering questions and giving insights and also helping you um you know maybe basically learn unlearn relearn um checking out new trends or you know all of that's just been uh Amazing. I mean, I have like a top executive YouTube staff on my WhatsApp. Okay, I can. I just feel like you're just showing off. I, call I feel, like, I feel like, like, hey, Haga, what's up? Now you're um, just showing off. Now you're just rubbing it in. You're preparing <laughs> us. <laughs> I don't like this. Okay, but I want to ask you one question though. Like, um, um, the, the, all, all these things that you're saying, and I think also because I was in that YouTube space, and I know how sometimes you can feel like. Like, see, nobody cares what you're doing. Nobody is seeing you. The numbers are not moving and all of that. So this is for people nobody, who... Nobody, it's not working. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I, I know you know what I'm talking about. So this is for people that were not selected and have worked hard. All the people that... And, and also for the people who just joined YouTube where they feel like where you are is like a lifetime away. Okay. Are you going to encourage those people to keep on going? Do you think now that there is a legit more reason why they should continue their hustle? Or, or do you think it's not you're something that isn't... Yeah, that's something that, that has actually has a lot of um, ground for, for progress and they should just probably start adding more side hustles. What do you think about that? Um, really good question. Um, I always tell people, you know, over the last couple of years uh, or couple of months, you know, the world is thirsty and ready for new things, for mm. new narratives, for new stories. If there's anything that Black Panther showed us, it's that the world is thirsty and hungry for African real yeah. narratives. Right. And I mean, you guys, every, I don't think anybody, I think one out of 10 people in the world will know um, Emanuela. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, with, you know, their YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, they are the most, one of the most popular YouTube channels in Africa right now. Mm. Mark Angel is a huge success. Right. Mark Angel has given Emmanuel laughs such like you know like and it's just because they didn't give up mm. they started out being authentic telling real african stories and the world is drinking it i think mm. the world knows mark angel more than nigerians know mark angel mm. but um Buzz. you know i just want to let them know that people young youtubers out there or old youtubers whatever you know because it's not by when you started or anything absolutely but, not um, we just yeah. need to keep pushing Mm. and not give up you know because the truth is the world is ready for us and we just need to come right come ready and come prepared you know all right so for me i would like to ask you because if there's anything 2020 taught us is that um we should make use of um social media the internet because mm -hmm. that is where a lot of people ran back to during the pandemic and even up to you now and then content creation is something that is uh, 
growing the um what's it called now industry right now especially when it comes to creating content mm -hmm. putting content on social media and all that what would be your advice to all the people that are just lost you know those guys that are actually funny that amongst their friends but they don't know how to put things together what would be your advice to them you know the truth is um i always tell people with this question you know who come to me and say how 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 and I always tell them the answer is just start. Mm. Just start. I remember when I started my YouTube channel, I had uh, <laughs> I had just my laptop. I think it was a 2000 and 2007 MacBook. And I used, you know, touch lights, those mm. white touch mm -hmm. lights that they, mm -hmm. that they sell in, on mm. the road. I, that was what I used for lighting because I didn't even know that natural light was the best source of light for creating videos. It mm. was my YouTube, you know, first set of YouTube um, watchers who said, I can use natural lights. What's wrong with you? Is it that you don't know this? You know, and mm. of course that time, this was 2004, nobody knew me then, um, 2005, sorry. Um, but, you know, I just started. And all the, of course, it came with all the ups and downs, mm -hmm. but it came with all the hustle. But the truth is that it came with me learning and growing. And I, I, I wouldn't have, you know, known as much as I know now. I wouldn't have been here today if I didn't start. I would always have kept on, you know, waiting for the right time. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to learn on the job. I know you. YouTube is something you have to learn on the job. Right. You do you it's that's that's the system. That's the thing you got to learn, hmm. you know, before you come as a broadcaster. Yeah. You've you you've you've proven your hey, well, hmm. Just when I was about to ask him like hot questions, he's <sighs> we've lost him, but it's all right. Uh -huh. I think we've gained uh -huh. enough. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. I like I like the fact that he was able to answer, you know, all the okay. questions on point, you know. Okay, I, I think, think we have him more. back. Please. Yeah. Aka, please tell me you are there. Hey. Welcome You're back. You're giving me a heart puppeting. I don't like this tool. I'm here. You are you are stressing me out. <laughs> Uh, but I'm sorry okay, about so that. we we actually don't even have that. a lot of time. But I think we you've 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 talked a lot about um, you Once know the again, YouTube space the and all of that. And I, I think it's summary for everyone who's watching. It looks like YouTube is a, is a platform that encourages consistency mm. and and it, it rewards yeah. the hard work. And you're a testimony to that. But before we let you go, this is still tea time on entertainment analysis show, and we like gist. So um, what we do on the table sometimes is also discuss um, other people's story just like you actually <laughs> so uh we have a hot topic on uh, the seat right uh, now <laughs> we have a hot topic on the seat right now peter okoye mentioned in a statement that money defines a man's presence in the home so basically he 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 ranted he said that um uh, uh, money is what defines a man's presence. Taken to his Instagram story, he even put that members that um, you uh, people appreciate men's work who ha who work hard to provide for their families. He also added that a man cannot provide money for his family um, and is bound to have a home where peace is absent. In his words, now a man's presence is in the house without money is absent. While a man absent. absence at home with money is presence. Do you understand what I'm trying to say here? So, dear God, give our men the willpower and yeah, grace give, to give. pursue a career or trade for the peace and love unity for his family. Do, what is your take? I know that you're now three in your home and you're now you're you're like the freshest new dad, the new daddy. So, what 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 does this um, hot topic mean? To you? <laughs> Mad. Um, to be honest, I mean, I respect Peter, but um, I do not uh, subscribe to that. You know, um, train of thought. Need a for that. Hey. Um, I do not believe that. <laughs> I do not believe that. Um, you know, a man's job is to bring money to the home. Thank you. I do not believe that a man's it it is a man's job to be the only one to bring money to home. Mm -hmm. But I also do not believe that. Um, you know. Um, a man's a man's worth is tied solely to the money he brings mm -hmm. to the home. I do believe that um, as emancipated people now and men who are trying to change um, culture 
as well mm. are trying to raise better families and who are trying to shield our children from the pain of absentee fathers mm. and even present fathers who were there but were not emotionally there mm. um, the hurt and the rejection of that kids is, is it multiplies into you know certain different things in their lives in the future so i do believe that a man's job is to be um loving to be present yes. to be emotionally there available to protect his wife and children so when we say a man's job is to protect his wife and family or children it's not just to protect from armed robbers that are never going to be there to shoot at you yeah. or from car accidents you are mm. not vulture um but you are meant to protect them from stress you're meant to protect them from you know um the negative perspectives of the world that may set them astray mm. you're there to provide uh, love and support for your wife so i do believe that a man bringing money great but also you're also there to be um to show your children examples of a father who cares for his family by you know having domestic uh, responsibilities at home but also being there emotionally for your wife because your wife needs somebody to talk to at night your wife needs somebody to say you're doing well your night wife needs somebody to say you know uh, I think I'll support you with this with what you want to do you're meant to be there to support your wife in whatever dreams she wants to achieve so that's what a man is there for love um, structure to instruct kids and instruct them and teach them the right ways and the right things to do it's not just all about money so um, fathers are meant to be very, very much present, as present as mothers I, I, are. I guess it's very fair to say that you are quite prepared for your new role, sir, because that answer <laughs> was, was very that. spot yeah. on. I was going to say what you said. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I was um, actually going to say what you said. So mm. it's I, mean, okay. I, mean, I, think, I think from the table, we have to say a big congratulations to you. We've said it on your, on your comment section already, mm. but a p more personal congratulations to you and your beautiful family. I mean, with that mindset, I am a lot more Thank at you peace that, you, that they have the, you know, a, a, a good man to guide and protect like you've just Family. mentioned and mm -hmm. i wish you all the best thank you so much for giving us a lot of your time today you made thank you very this much. show thank i you appreciate so much. you guys yeah thank you thank, thank you for you. letting me speak to you <laughs> <laughs> all righty that was um quite full yeah i think we learned a lot exciting. if i hope you're taking notes because oh yeah 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 no but i told you i, I spoke to you yes no, i mean it's that so mm. yes uh, mm. I mean, we will, I think we'll have done a good job as well. If even if we didn't have account issue in regards to that topic, well, I think topic. you said it all. Yeah, I think yeah. we. I think I don't think anyone on the table have agreed that just money is enough to make a man. But also, present. also, also, true, still, true. Shall, still, also, Absolutely. Still, also, shall. Is the guy low. not hustling right now? Talking yes, to us from a movie set. So, uh -huh. so yeah. but you still has don't to go home. Don't go and be saying it that okay because, because after said it, I just said, ah, let me just stay at home. I just. I know our viewers know how to balance out that that advice. Okay. Also, no. Anyway, that is a wrap on today's episode. We did give a lot, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Thank you so much. You can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or yep. Twitter at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember that you can catch up on any of the bits of today's episode, the full episode, and all of our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on RT TV and in London. Yes, we've traveled and on Ben Television. A big thank you out to my co anchors, if you watch okay, and Eniola for keeping it cheeky. Yes, we traveled. Did you see yeah. me on the street of Yaba? <laughs> we are both in London. No together. Ask Please. We're in London together. <laughs> Entire production team, thank you. Thank you for watching. My name is Ife Omai. I will see you guys Monday.